Hey, this is lesson 12.3, journal page 286. It says, find the sum of the interior angle measures of the polygon. Well, we know all quadrilaterals were just 360 degrees, but let's show how we know. So remember that the big S, that's the sum of the interior angles, the S is for sum, equals the number of sides minus 2 times 180. And the reason we have that is because if you just take one vertice, we'll take this one up in the left-hand corner here, and you draw lines to make as many triangles as you can in here. Well, I can't draw a line between these two because that is that side. It already exists. Same with that top right there. But I can draw a line right here. And what I created was two triangles. So I would have this angle, this angle, and this angle. And we know that triangle is 180 degrees, or the sum of its angles. And then I would also have this angle, this angle, and this angle. Well, if I take all six of those angles, it would be 180 times 2. That's what this formula actually does for us. It takes the number of sides and subtracts 2. What that's going to give us is how many triangles we actually can draw on there. So in this case, it would be 4 minus 2 because I can draw two triangles. You don't have to think of that every time, but that is how this formula was come up with. So anyway, uh, the sum of the angles is going to equal, in this case, 4 minus 2 times 180. And that'll just be... 2 times 180, which equals 360. We already knew that, but that's how we get it. Number 2. Uh, well, we can just use the formula. S equals N minus 2, in parentheses, of course, times 180. The number of sides here, it's a pentagon, so 5 sides. So 5 minus 2 times 180, which is 3 times 180, which is 540. And again, if we were looking at doing the whole triangle thing, we could take any vertice here. We'll just take this bottom left-hand one. Can't draw a line here because it exists, but I can draw one here to connect these. If I can fit my ruler in there. And I could do another one over here. Like so. And you can see I get three triangles, which is why I have three times 180, which equals 540, like I already said. Number three. Well, now we have to count the sides here. Uh, I'll start with the top one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a 12-sided shape. N minus 2 times 180, 12 minus 2 times 180, 10 times 180, which equals 1,800 degrees. The sum of the interior angles. Degrees, degrees, degrees. Number four. Find the measures of the interior angle. So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5-sided shape. So first I have to figure out how what these angles are going to add up to. Now the nice thing about this is in number two, we found out that a pentagon or a five-sided shape is going to equal 540 degrees. So I can just skip to knowing that 540 degrees is what these are going to add up to. The sum will be. So I'll start here. 135 plus 120 plus 80 plus 135 plus x. And now we just add these up. I know 135 and 120 is 255. And 80 and 135 will be 215 or 215 plus x still. And now I'll add those two to get 470 plus x, and now subtract 470 from both sides and get x, 
is equal to 0, 4, 70 degrees. So x equals 70. Now this says find the measure of the interior angles, and it's got four of them labeled, so I'm just going to put the um, x equals 70. That's the missing angle. Number five. Same kind of thing. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six-sided shape. I do not have the six-sided shape up there. So now I have to find out S equals 6 minus 2 times 180, 4 times 180, 720. So now they have to add up to 720. So 720 equals 120 plus 120. Don't forget these perpendicular signs mean those are 90 degrees so plus 90 plus 90 plus x plus x one two three four five six i have all my angles there and i'll combine these that's 240 combine these that's 180 combine these that's 2x this would be 3 4 20 plus 2x Subtract 420 from each side. And get 2x equals 300. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 150. So x equals 150 for number 5. Number 6. Number six, it says find the measure of each interior angle of the regular polygon. So I'll start with the top here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A twelve sided shape. Now, if I go all the way back to number three, we found that a twelve sided shape, there's 1,800 degrees in a twelve sided shape. That's the sum of the angle. So I'm not going to figure that out again. We know for number six, it's 1,800 degrees, and that is for 12 of the sides. So I'll have to divide that by 12. Could have left myself a little more room there, but 12 goes into 18 once, which is 12. 12 goes into 65 times, which is 60. 12 goes into 0, 0 times, which is 0. And so each of these has to be 150 degrees. Find the measure of each interior angle. Each interior angle is 150 degrees. Number 7. We'll start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the sum will be, uh, well, I'll write the formula down first. n minus 2 times 180 which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 minus 2 times 180, 6 times 180. What is 6 times 180? Uh, 180 times 6, 0, 48, 10, 1,080. So the sum of all of them is 1,080. Well, I have 8 of them. So I will divide by 8. 1,080 divided by 8. It goes into 28 four, three times, which is 24. And 8 goes into 45 times, which is 40. So 135. So 135. Five degrees for number seven. And finally, number eight. In poetry class, you're making a pot that is shaped as a regular hexagon. Remember, hexagons have six sides. What is the measure of each angle in the regular hexagon? Remember, because these are regular, all of the angles are the same. So regular hexagon. Um, let's see, six. So for number eight... The sum of the angles will be 6 minus 2 times 180 
which is 4 times 180, which is 720. All right, so 720 degrees. And now we want to know each, so we have to divide by 6. 720 divided by 6. 6 goes into 7 once with 1 left over. 6 goes into 12 twice with none left over. 6 goes into 0, 0 times with none left over. So 120 degrees for each of the angles in the hexagon. Hope that helped. Leave any questions in the comment section. See ya!